Oh, Asya, you are so cute, Asya. Asya and Konika are just so freaking cute. Let's read this mo- Ooh. Hmm. Oh, this- Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, they're just so cute. Oh, wait. Am I rec- Oh, I'm recording. Oh, I'm- Oh, yeah. Nope. Nope. I'm just gonna put that down. And hello, you guys. I'm sorry. I was just doing some light reading. Yeah, light reading. So, for today's video, I want to discuss about something that I really want. Because, you know me, I love me some chess. And I love me some high school DXD. So, with that being said, I want to kind of discuss evil pieces, the evil piece system and where they came from basically the evil peace system yeah i i love the lore behind it and why it's it is established so with that being said let's start the video welcome to my new video you guys as you can see from the title of the video i am going over the evil peace system from the series high school dxd i initially uh thought of discussing the celestial spirit magic from fairy tale, which I would I wouldn't mind, by the way, discussing another. It's gonna be another Lucy Hartfilia centric kind of video, with, which I have no problem with because Lucy Hartfilia is one of my waifus, but I j literally just made it like I don't know a couple of months ago, so I'm gonna hold up on that one. But uh, I really want I really want to start d discussing about high school DX because high school DX is by far my favorite uh, my favorite harem harem basically and of course this is also a prelude because I also want to discuss Issei Hiyodo's boosted gear and boost basically. Uh, and this evil pieces kind of uh, topic kind of connects to that with the sacred gears and stuff. I'm also, I'm also, I already done the thumbnail for the evil pieces for the sacred gear discussion video, and I also want to discuss about the sacred gears so that I can better prepare myself for Isaac Yodo's boosted gear i really i'm really passionate about this of course please note that i haven't really read much about the light novel so everything i know is came from the anime the manga which i am currently reading yep although this is not the real and official manga because this is just a side manga it's called asia and conical sacred contract so everything i read everything in this video is about it came from the manga, the wiki, the anime. So yeah, if I if something if if I made a mistake here, please feel free to correct me down there in the comment section below. With that being said, let's get started with a little bit of summary from from uh uh from. Uh, gonna be a long one but if you want to read it uh, read it in the on the wiki itself I'm gonna leave you guys a link down in the description below so that being said I'm this is more of a like a shortened video um yeah I'm gonna be just highlighting a lot of a lot of stuff that interests me or that actually I think uh, was kind of hinted back in the anime and the manga I think it's, I think they did hint, hint some of it but most of it is gonna be like from the wiki so I'm just going to highlight something that interests me so the evil piece were created by Ajoka Beelzebub uh, 
I'll add you Kabeel's above, I think, is going is the current devil king that is introduced in season three, by the way. It's in high school the XD born, if I'm not mistaken. She he's going to he's introduced in uh in high school the XD born in season three. So yeah. With that with that I but I digress on that that he created the evil peace system using the crystal using the crystal available on the agrius island to help replenish the number of devils from the war now with that that is actually hinted from like the, a little bit backstory back in season two where a war between devils fallen angels and angels took place and like uh, God and the devil king the previous devil kings died basically and they need somehow to replenish their uh, their numbers and they use humans basically yeah I, I'm gonna stop using basic because that's kind of annoying so with that I I kind of like that uh, a little bit of lore there so you, you know me. I love my One Piece, One Piece because of the lore of One Piece. So, with that being said, I really do love that kind of background. So, and this is just from the sacred, from the backstory from the two dragons, and connecting it with the meeting as well. So, let's continue, shall we? Mm, let's see. To replenish from the Great War, of course, the old Satan faction is greatly opposed to it because they're really prideful of their race and it, they say the they see the reincarnation of humans and other races into devils as a disgrace they're very prideful of their genetics basically so oh stop me from using that word <laughs> so with that and with the creation of the evil piece system is the raiding games and evil pieces evil pieces are commonly given to pure-blooded high class or ultimate devils so they can gather their own servants on their own reincarnate devils reincarnated devils are also given the chance to receive their evil pieces once they rise up the ranks either high class or ultimate class when the devil receives the when the devil receives the right to obtain their own evil pieces they go to a to a satan's territory or the devil king's territory and touch the monument which functions as a replacement king and re, and register themselves as king which kind of interesting so Isay will eventually do that huh I cannot wait for that for that in the anime or in the manga as well. And if a uh, king wishes to trade a piece, it's very straightforward. It's basically just like Pokemon, basic Pokemon trading. They have a magic circle, which is not in Pokemon, it's just a machine in the anime. <laughs> so it's a trading purpose magic circle. They put each of each the the pieces they want to trade with each other in the center and boom boom it's traded and they can also trade multiple multiple uh pieces at the same time simultaneously so yeah but they can they can only trade the same type of pieces like Rias can just uh trade bishop to b bishop and with another bishop basically so yeah stop me from i should count my basically word i need to have a basically word count right now so yeah that's a little bit of summary and let's see yeah an ability the appearance of evil evil pieces is uh the, uh, the evil pieces looks a lot like a normal chess piece basically oh no <laughs> chess set a normal chess set and constitute the same point system value although please note that 
uh, uh, someone like Issei, even though he's a pawn, since he's his equal equivalent to eight pawn pieces, he's going to have like eight points. He's gonna be worth eight points. So the pawn piece. What that being said, each of the pawn pieces are one point. So that's why Issei being be, being equivalent to eight pawns is is his point value is gonna be eight points. Knight and bishop are worth three and rooks are worth five and queens are worth nine since it's the most powerful piece in a chess game and if you if you're familiar with chess ju that's just a refresher right there the evil piece can reincarnate anyone who recently passed away or anyone still living who willingly reincarnate themselves as devils such as well Synovia and Rose Wise. The only exception is it cannot reincarnate gods, deities, and dragon gods, which makes sense. All they have to do is like if Orpheus is killable or uh, or any one of the gods would accept them. Oh God, that that's literally what they had to do, and they would be the most overpowered kind of beings in the in the underworld so yeah that's kind of a that restriction makes sense to me so this appearance and I'm gonna be pieces mutation piece and unused pieces so mm, pieces the strength and talent the talents the individual has determines how many de determines how many pieces it requires them to it requires for them to be reincarnated for example the main character is a Yodo since he has the potential of the red dragon emperor Rias has to use all eight of his pawn pieces and the opposite of that is the mutation piece basically the mutation piece is when you're so when you're supposed to to use multiple P's to use to reincarnate a certain individual and then you only use one there's a mutation piece and that could that could result to them being a, uncontrollable which an example of this is Casper Bloody from season 2 actually because Casper Bloody thanks to him being half vampire and having having that uh, time stopping sacred gear of him is way too powerful to have only one bishop piece uh, it's supposed to Urias supposed to be able to use two bishop pieces for Casper bloody to be bloody to be reincarnated into a devil but she only used one so she, he's a mutation piece and an unused piece, another feature of the evil piece are the unused pieces which will undergo changes according to the monster's growth allowing the king to use uh, less pieces when reincarnating beings into devils. Oh, I should probably stop using the word king instead I'm going to use the word master because there's a king piece that they actually forbade or they confiscated and I, I need to know more about that so I, I think I need more research for the king piece although I'm gonna be discussing that in, later on in this video so yeah next would be the abilities abilities of each pieces this would be this is probably the part where I'm most excited to discuss because I really I, I need more explanation because th the first time I watched High School Dex, the I did not get anything about how their abilities work for each per per each uh, per each piece, queen, rook, bishop, knight. I did I did have any idea about that, so I'm I'm just following them along 
and following the action along as they go on. So with this, I'm really excited to discuss this now. So the queen piece is just basically any in any other normal chess is the most versatile and most powerful piece able to do what a knight, bishop, and rook's characteristics are, making it the most balanced and the most powerful pieces within the peerage. The queen typically acts as a second in command, which is which is shown when in season one when they are reporting to Rias and Re when Akino and Subaki was reporting back to Rias and Sona back in the in se season beginning of season two in Kiba's little arc there. Yeah, and then when Rias kind of disappeared in season three for the training arc, when they were at surprisingly surprised attacked by Tanin. Akino was the commanding the peerage in on behalf of Freya's grammar, so this kind of connects together from the anime from the anime side. And the rook piece, the rook piece, they ga gains special superhuman strength, which results to to the piece having high offense and high defense. However, it is weak to quick and and high speed attack. It can be o easily overwhelmed by high speed opponents. Although in season two, it is demonstrated about castling. If you don't know chess, I'm gonna explain what castling is. Castling is basically when you haven't moved your king or your your king and one of your rook can basically switch them around and for a for a more defensive kind of tactic so similarly in high school dxd you can switch both an unused rook i, I think it's an unused rook either an unused rook or a regular rook in the rating game so i yeah that's basically the abilities of the rook and the knight, I think the knight or the bishop boost magical magical abilities which they can use to conjure up a number of magical spells but the stronger oh magical spells such as a healing support and offense stronger magic though magic spell takes a toll to the caster and can take a long time to regain magic power from forcing them to use their powers more carefully or risk becoming vulnerable to physical attacks so from the from the three pieces like i feel like it, they're all balanced except for the queen like for the rook the bishop and the knight they're all balanced basically they have strengths and weaknesses only the queen has no kind of like downside uh, yeah and then the knight the last official piece in a chess, chess game the knight piece gains increased speed enabling them to perform high speed attacks and maneuvers however there are their main weakness are their main weakness are the low defense making them vulnerable to powerful attacks another weakness is their legs since speed it can decrease their speeds and mo mobility and then the pawn i think the pawn is based uh is the more powerful one sure it's worth one point but the pawn if you if you haven't known about chess yet it can be it can promote itself to either a bishop a rook a knight and a queen that's every time it goes to a to the enemy territory or the other side of the board in a regular chess game in high school the xd however it needs either to be in an enemy territory as shown when when uh 
Issei rescued Asuka back in season 1 of the anime. Yeah, uh, yeah, season 1 of the anime from the church. So it's shown there. Or a master's permission. A, master perm a master's permission, which is self explanatory. This ability is based on the. Re oh, yeah. Yeah. I should follow that script more often, yeah. And finally, the king piece. Well, the king piece, the king piece, their rare piece that was created in early in the early days of the rating games. Unlike the other piece, which grant special abilities, the king piece, the king piece simply boosts a person's powers and ability to from ten to 100 times or even more there are restriction to its use one one of its restriction is the users cannot have evil pieces because the king piece would overlap and expose them to the da to danger two to the use the user can potentially die if they're too strong yeah so it's just relative strength basically they can't have like a overpowered kind a god level kind of strength uh there are currently nine unused king pieces in existence but they were banned by the current government from from use for fear of devils would use it for for them to pursue evil deeds after volume 21 the king pieces have been contestigated which kind of sucky but of course it makes sense because that they they are devils and they kind of they are kind of selfish by nature so again it, it kind of makes sense for them to bind the king piece because it can boost all of your strength like a hundred folds or even more than that so that's that's it for the abilities and for each explanation for each pieces yeah i i really did enjoy i really did enjoy making this video because you know me i love chess like it's one of my favorite sports and i also love high school decks so mixing a bit of chess into like high school dxd lore it, lore for me high school dxd lore for me is really fantastic and i really do want to explore more and discuss more things about this series because i really do think this is one of the most uh they're kind of like good show harem anime in if i think that i've ever seen before and if i got something wrong or if you are if you want to add some information in please leave them in the comment section below and let's get this discussion going because i really do want to learn more about high school dicks they don't really care about spoilers that much either so feel free to leave everything there in the comment section below so with that being said please you guys click one of the videos up there or in there or anywhere in the screen right now or please click the subscribe button for more awesome anime or otaku related content maybe i should uh post more scripted videos like this not that top ten, my top tens are not scripted but they're just my top tens are basically not skip scripted i script the list but <laughs> but like the explanation is not scripted at all so yeah maybe i should script more of my video Hey, more things to learn, right? Uh, more things to write, right? Yeah, I maybe I should script more, and then maybe I should discuss. I really do love discussing anime-related stuff. So, with that being said, see you guys for the next video. Hopefully, hopefully, it's going to be the Sacred Gear video, which I'm still working on the script for that one. So, let's stop right here.